For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Tell me you guys a bit of a review video on a product from Isabella. So with me today I've got the Isabella Magnum 400 Etna. So the Magnum has been a model that's been in Isabella's range for, for since the beginning of time, it seems for sure. So they do this in different sort of sizes. So you've got the uh, ability of having it in a 400, which I've got with me here, or a 340. Both are two and a half meters deep, uh, which is pretty much a typical kind of traditional kind of depth if you wanted to. But the joys of this essentially is a really nice sort of porch awning um, and you again it allows you to have something that essentially is very good quality. Um, traditional in the way in terms of the framework and how it works but that Isabella quality which is the key thing. There obviously are very similar things on the market like it uh, but nothing really quite lives up to kind of the way it's made and the features built into it and that's where it sort of stands out from the rest. So we'll start at the start. So necessarily what we've got here is a really nice um, essentially acrylic fabric. So it's a dope dyed acrylic fabric. Um, in the roof we've got it at about 285 gram and then the sides around there it's about 295 gram. Now the reason that the fact it's dope dyed is different to say you say fat dyed is that it's the way it's done. So dope dyed basically means that it's dyed from the thread not by the fabric itself. Now, this is important because when you find um, as the product, you know, the awning lives on, it, you get less discolored dis sort of fading, should we say, with kind of a dope dyed than a kind of fat dyed. Now, by dyeing the thread itself, it means that you get it all the way through. So the best way to kind of describe this is almost using the analogy of uh, dope dyed is like a carrot, whereas vat dyed is more like a radish, whereas a carrot, cut it through, orange all the way through. A radish, obviously coloured on the outside, but purely white on the inside. And that is important because as kind of the sunlight essentially and the UV damage to it strips away the outer layer, normally that white shines through. But with this, you're not gonna get that same kind of concept. So it means it's gonna look sharper for longer, which is very important. There's also got like a, a polyester kind of coating on this sort of roof fabric again to help kind of that UV sunlight. But mainly because it's kind of acrylic, it's breathable. So it helps, it means to be a lot cooler on kind of a warm day. And also from, from a longevity point of view, it's not necessarily, it's more designed to be a touring awning, but the quality of the material and the, certainly the fabric they use, you could more than happily use this on a seasonal pitch if you really wanted to. Um, what we've got is also it's twinned up with the carbon frame. So the carbon frame is lightweight, it's still strong, as strong as steel, but about a third if not half the weight, which is brilliant, certainly for those touring times. It's really quite, you know, it's strong, lightweight, and things like the carbon frame comes with sort of special clasps. So this clasp here gives you the ability to extend and quite happily just clamp it down. So you've got no wing nuts or anything like that, so it's very easy to use, especially if you've not got the best of strength. You know, you can more than happily use some sort of thing to kind of close it as such. As we kind of see it really, it's sort of very symmetrical in the way it fits. So we've got these kind of two doors either side with the kind of the classic kind of Isabella kind of porthole. So you get that, it's the iconic badge that you know, you know, people with Isabellas necessarily have. Uh, it stands out in terms of the rest. Great PVC windows at the front here as well to get plenty of light in. And we've got a really nice big mesh vent at the top. Now, this whole front panel can completely remove if you wish to, as the two side panels can actually remove as well. So what you can almost do if you wanted to, you can buy an additional Aranda pole that covers the whole front section and that will drop down. A Aranda pole for the side is included, so that's also worth mentioning. So you, if you wanted that too, you can use that quite nice and neatly. But for me, it's the it's the bits that, the nitty gritty details of this particular awning is why you pay what you do for the Isabella money. So we're looking at, we've got a full kind of canopy built onto it that goes all the way down to the ground. And even in the canopy we've got, there's a physical pole running along the top and down the sides rather than just a, a little section coming out. So from a stability point of view, it works really nicely. Plus the fact that actually there's a sleeve built into it as well. So it, you're actually getting tension outwards on that material. Other things are certainly the quality of zips they tend to use. So we've got a really nice kind of spiral chain zip, very much oversized. When you're going around the corners and things like that, uh, it's you know it's very rugged for that situation. 
The spiral shape, the zip itself is also, it's uh, teeth counted, so necessarily it means that they know exactly how many teeth is in that whole entire length, and that also comes into play, certainly for later on, if you had, say, you lose a part or anything like that, you know, in theory you can buy a replacement part, and Isabella knows exactly what that is, and certainly from a quality control point of view, it's very important, being to know how, you know, the entire length and necessarily how many teeth are in that point, it's a testament to how, you know, focused they are on the main details to it itself. You can't really see it at the angle we are with the camera now, but the side panel itself, you've got, again, a blank panel, PVC window, and then also a rear door. Now, what we'll do a bit later on in the video, probably have a little bit more of a look at it, but the here, behind the sort of normal mesh, behind the normal window, you've also got a mesh built into it. So this actually can roll physically up, and there's also a zip along the bottom of it as well. It means that you can get proper coverage from wind and rain directly in, so you don't have anything blowing up. It rolls up and actually you've got your press studs there to keep it nice and easy. The two side panels are interchangeable, so you can have this side panel on the opposite side. And what that benefits means that door position moves from the back of the awning directly to the front. So you can use it as a main way. For me, that's kind of quite important because it means especially if you've got say a door located back to the awning, you have to almost like close the door before you exit the awning directly through there. So the ability to flip it around as you see works really well. In terms of this kind of stitching things away as well, what you find is that everything is essentially double stitched and it's also triple layered, so it's a really well put together bit of kit. The other thing, again, which I think is a, a, a bit of a novelty these days, is, is European made. So it's the, everything from the processing of putting it together to bring it across um, and even to necessarily aftercare is in Isabella's control. So what you find is they can honestly monitor the quality of everything, and if there are any issues, they can sort it out really easily. They've got their home kind of after sales built in the UK, and they handle all of their repairs and the warranty uh, and any amendments and things like that as well. So again, they're very in touch with the end product all the way through the actual stage itself. But I'll tell you what, let's have a little look inside the Magnum and talk through a load of more features that it's got built into it. So now we're inside the Magnum, you kind of get a bit more idea for certainly the size in here. And actually, the thing that surprised me in many ways is actually, even though it's saying a you know a four by a traditional two and a half, it feels quite spacious. I think uh, it's partly down to the you know the apex kind of traditional kind of size in here. It really helps to create great headroom, even in the corners. You know, I can be right in the corner here. Being six foot two can stand up quite nice and neatly, and that just brings everything very away from you. Creates a very kind of boxy environment. And again, things like, for example, the furniture you put it right up to the front of the awning itself, and then you've still got a good meter or so, even longer, away from the carriage door. So when you step out, you're not necessarily directly uh, into your living area as such. Now. One thing we didn't really see from the outside was, again was that panel itself. So we've got that rear door, which I'll say can be flipped around when you change the panels over. Really great big load of vesh, and then you can roll it out externally when you want to get that airflow directly in. Curtains, as we can see here, again, are pretty much everywhere throughout the awning and are included. And the thing I do like about that is you've got a really quite smart track system where essentially you can kind of, when you first set it up, you've got these almost like, should we say, tracks or runners. So you put those on initially, and then it just literally over hooks onto that. So it makes taking the curtains on and off very easy to do, which is important when you're setting from taking down. The other thing you can do is actually is turn the curtain round either way. So the little kind of, should we say, runner itself that clips on, you can either have the pattern facing out or the pattern facing in, like we have probably at home, you know. So it kind of really helps to create that kind of homey feeling. And I think the colour scheme of the curtains sort of match the awning really well is to be fair as well. Front door like we said you can obviously have it to you can open up and just use it as an entrance or turn to block it off and then use that internal space. For me it's the, the, the details they've thought about throughout you know everything they do so we've got like I said the carbon frame but where the frame is there's an extra bit of material that sits behind the frame that's designed basically to reinforce it to stop anything rubbing so again it's things like that they've thought about in longevity. It's why people have, say, Isabellas for, you know, 15, 20 years. Um, and once they kind of go to an Isabella, they don't often stray away because they're used to that level of quality. Not only we've got that going across to the apex, we've then got it running back towards the actual Karen as well. And it's, again, it does make a difference when we've got wind and weather a little bit more moving together. 
there's a physical spike um, that goes kind of through the point there as well. So what you find actually is that you've got a fixation point from the frame to the material at the top, and again, same at the bottom. So it helps to lock that sort of material close to the frame, give you a bit more stability. With this kind of fabric, you find there's a less tolerance for in the manufacturing process, so you have to make sure it's really spot on. Um, and that's in the many ways is a big bonus because it means it gets stronger um, by having less ability for moving parts and things to be need knitted together, should we say, a bit finer. It means that when it's up, it's a bit stronger than your typical probably other brand that you might necessarily find. And mainly you pay for all of the things we're talking about, but the quality you pay for what you get, which is a very good point really. From the back section, what you've got is is Bella's unique um, kind of um, system at the back. So what it enables you to do is actually again lock the actual canvas onto the frame, but more importantly, allow it to press directly against the actual carrot itself. So what we've got here is essentially a plastic clasp that goes onto kind of the uh, onto the actual uh, fiberglass pole. So that clips on. Really nice, a smart foam pad, and then this part almost comes down like a little leg. So, as the frame comes up, this puts it in, and then you can press that firmly against the caravan. You've got adjustment points on the legs as well. So, you've got um, almost we call it like a ladder system on pretty much all of the points where the frame meets the ground. And what that allows you to do is actually pick and choose the height and make sure you get plenty of tension in the actual fabric and get that roof looking really nice and crisp. And it's around about, it's about 20 centimeters play. So having that adjustment does also mean that if you're on an uneven pitch, you can still accommodate that and still look like a professional on the campsite. On the outside, we've got um, all of the sort of pegging points are kind of rubbers so you can get rick tension into and then very easy to remove or replace if you need to do that as well. And they can just literally clip in place, lock, and then you're hopefully not gonna lose them. When it goes against the caravans and the poles, we've got kind of this bracket pad, which basically can easily open up, allow you to slide on a channel that's along the top of the actual awning. And I'll pick the camera up in a moment to have a look at that. But it means you're not gonna scratch the caravan itself and you can easily take them on and take them off and then the hook's just gonna literally directly go in there. The curtains have not only got sort of really nice sliders, but they've also got pop retainers. So you can actually happily easily open that up across and what you find is where the most of these walls are pretty much dead straight uh, there's not a too much angle to but there's also a little cl clip you can buy which is like a bit of a call it a little bit of webbing for example so you want to keep that nice and tight you can buy that additionally when we want to go back all of the door sections as well it's worth mentioning um, also run that same kind of uh, clip system so if you want to roll that door back you've still got a very easy kind of pop system as well and let's say these things aren't cheap we're looking at the actual, uh, all the pegging points that you've got throughout of it. We talked about how obviously the material is stitched and it's sort of triply folded and doubly stitched. We've also got everything to reinforce pegging points down here. So everything, you've got a small little tab um, and that means that as time goes on, any stress in fact, it's more than able to handle that. And it's got a special kind of, um, we'll call it like a kite stitching in as well, which is one of the strongest ways of doing it. So it takes a bit more effort to do, but you retain that sort of quality. Reinforcements not only with the um, extra fabric, but in the corners where you're more likely to get sort of rub, again, that's been taken care of quite nice and neatly as well. In fact, let's pick the camera up now and we can have a little bit more of a, a wander around. So I think the lampshade really makes kind of a very kind of homely kind of feel to it, especially with the table in place. And um, we've got this PVC kind of draft skirt, so you can get a great sort of seal against there. There are obviously are things like additional carpets and stuff you can look at for the awning. Um, and we have those sort of listed in kind of the link below. You can probably see a bit more, a little bit clearly, the kind of track system you've got in here and the sort of levels you've got in the zips. The clasp for kind of the adjusting frame, obviously very easy to necessarily use. And all of the componentry for the poles and things like that work really smartly and fits very snugly to the frame itself. Crystal clear kind of PVC windows as we previously mentioned. Um, I mean you can buy also additional kind of um, storm straps if you wanted to. I recommend sort of tying them directly around the frame rather than anything else. So again you've got that kind of canopy pole which we can see there and then a full on sleeve to get a really nice tight fit. 
uh, is that kind of mesh door that we talked about on the side. There are uh, ability of buying annexes as well, so you can buy an annex to go on the side of that if you wanted to have internal space or then buy an additional inner tent to kind of give you a bit more of a sleeping option. There are also additional uh, kind of cosy corners as they're called, so you can extend those, the front out as a canopy or if you wanted to kind of create a little kind of um, quite like a little wing added onto the front of it, you can do that as well and it's also interchangeable with the other side. Additional straps are located down the bottom here, so you want some extra guide points to give it a bit more tension as windier weathers. Um, and then we can probably see a bit clearly that kind of mesh part built into it as well. But overall it's like a really quite impressive uh, awning. Something I think it's one model we have we have on display at our indoor showroom. So you want to kind of come inside, see the material, the, the quality of the stitch lines, all those things. It's probably something you can see better in the flesh. And like I said, you know, once you kind of go down the Isabella line, it's not often you sort of deter away from it just because of all the things built into it. A lot of things are included as well. Things like your rear, uh, the draft skirt, your uh, wheel arch cover, your obviously the pole system you got there located, uh, one veranda pole, as we've talked about. Um, you've got your pegs, uh, peg bags, sort of pole bags, canvas bags. So there's a lot included for the money, which makes it, you know, it, it's trying to not necessarily justify why you're paying that, but it's kind of giving a bit more of a rep, more, you know, idea of why and the level of detail of where your money does go. For more information, you can check the link below this video. It'll take you straight through to the website. We've got more details and all of the components you itemized and listed out as well um, to give you a bit more of a, a nitty gritty detail of it rather than listen to me rabbit on about it all. Um, but yeah, for more questions or queries, feel free to contact us directly. But that's kind of our little video review on the much loved Isabella Magnum in the Etna colour, either in the 340 or the 400 I'm in now.